Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome to my YouTube. My name is Emma, otherwise known as Kemma. I am a ceramic artist and painter from Sydney, Australia. This is my first ever video, so it's very scary. Um, I wanted to pretty much make this platform so I can make longer videos and just bring you along with me in my journey. I feel like I've been making shorter videos on TikTok and Instagram for a while now, and I just want to find a way to connect deeper with all of you. I thought we would start things off with a Q&A, so I put up a little question box and I asked you guys for your most frequently asked questions. So we'll start off pretty basic and we can just get to know each other. I thought that I would answer them while I paint some of my love you mugs today. I'm painting little red hearts on my mugs and they're so cute. This is my favorite mug that I make. How did you discover your passion for ceramics? So pretty much my whole life, like ever since I was little, I've always been a painter and I would paint on canvases. I made ceramics through that time as well, but painting was the thing that really drew me towards art. I love the idea that ceramics are just functional art. So it's like paintings that you can use every day in your everyday rituals instead of just having a painting that hangs on a wall for you to look at. I know that when I use a handmade object in my everyday matcha or coffee or tea, it just makes it that much more special. When did you decide to start selling your work? So I was at law school when I started selling the mugs that I was making. I, I was just studying a really hard degree at a really difficult university and I was getting caught up in the stress of it all and making ceramics was for me a way to de-stress. I never intended to sell them, but I started posting them on a private Instagram account, which I had always had through school and everything. I was just using that account to randomly post all of the creations I made. And then through that, people found my work and eventually wanted to buy it. It was actually a private account at first. So all of my first customers were my family and friends. And then when I opened it up, I remember just, I remember just the craziest feeling when the first person who I didn't recognize their name and they bought my work. It was just really surreal. The first one is done. What inspires your work? My work is really inspired by feelings, so think things like coziness and warmth and love. I really want the feeling of like a warm hug to come across whenever anyone uses something that I've made. I also live on the coast, so I think that that just inevitably influences a lot of my work. Um, I love being inspired by things like fresh flowers and fruit and the ocean. What are your favorite things to do aside from ceramics? I love hanging out with my dog, Kona. She's coming. <laughs> what else do we love to do together? We love to go to the beach and we love to eat food <laughs> and travel. She can't come traveling, but I love to travel too. I also love fashion and beauty and animals. <laughs> Kona wants to join the video. <laughs> what is the most exciting thing you have coming up in 2023? I don't know if I can say this. I literally just found out, but I am going to Europe this year to make pottery. And I actually can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm hoping I'm gonna bring you guys along for the whole entire journey and I can't wait. Where did the name Kemma come from? So my name is Emma and my last name starts with the letter K. So Kemma was kind of like a first name, last name mashup that a friend of mine came up with and it sort of just stuck. It was the name of that original Instagram account that I was telling you about, the one that was on private and I just never changed it. <laughs> you can call me Emma or you can call me Kemma, I don't mind. What are your top tips for anyone wanting to start a small business? I have so many tips. I can go on and on about this for a whole entire video and I think I will do that. So let me know if that's a video that you would be interested in because I would love to make it for you. And if you are, let me know any specific questions that you have about small businesses and starting one. And I would be so happy to answer them for you. Do you regret studying law? Was it hard to transition from law school to doing ceramics full time? Not gonna lie, it was a massive, massive adjustment. 
just coming from a really rigid structured environment that was very like straight line path with law school it's like you get a really good mark at school which gets you into law school and then you just have to get good marks throughout and then you get a job or a clerkship and then a grad job and it just sort of goes like that and it's very structured whereas for me now being my own boss it's the complete opposite and I'm in charge of everything but I absolutely love it I am so grateful to do what I do and at the same time I'm also really grateful for my education and I don't regret it one bit because it got me to where I am today it's the reason why I was able to make the decision to be an artist full-time because it confirmed for me what I was really passionate about I also just think that having any kind of education is such a privilege and I would never regret that I still use a lot of the skills that I learned at law school in the everyday running of my business now and it just it's all just an experience that brought me to where I am today so no regrets <laughs> That's all I'm going to answer for today, but thank you so much for your questions and for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more and you can comment below any questions you may have, but thank you for being here. Love you.